What's up guys and gals, welcome back to How Not to Get a Ticket from Dr. Green Jeans While Dove Hunting in Texas, version 2023. First off, time limits. You have 30 minutes before sunrise until sunset. This is not deer season. You cannot hunt 30 minutes after sunset. Google sunset in your area and it'll tell you a time and stop hunting at that time and you'll be perfectly safe. Number two, plugs. If you're shooting a semi or a pump, you cannot fit more than three shells into your shotgun. That's one in the chamber, two in the tube. If you can fit one in the chamber and three in the tube, you're wrong. You're going to get a ticket. You need to have a plug in there. If you can't figure out how to work the plug, just shoot a side-by-side -side or an over and under. Number three, hunting from a vehicle. This one sucks. I think it's stupid, but it is part of the law. You're not allowed to sit on the tailgate of your truck and shoot birds. You're not allowed to sit on your side-by-side -side and shoot birds. And you're not allowed to sit on your four-wheeler and shoot birds. You're also not allowed to drive your side-by-side -side or truck or four-wheeler through the field in the middle of the day and kick birds up for you or your buddies to shoot at. It's against the law, and you will get a ticket. Next one, taking pictures of your birds. While it's a blast to spell out that you and your buddies shot 100 birds with the birds and take a picture of it, or 50, or 45, or stack them up, which is probably the favorite, stack them up on the tailgate, and everybody get around and take a picture of all the birds laying on the tailgate, you will undoubtedly get a ticket for that. You have to keep your limits and birds separate. When the game warden shows up, he or she has to be able to differentiate that Johnny shot 12, and Susie shot 15, and Jake shot 8, and they all have to be separate, for the game warden to determine that nobody has gone over their legal limit. Next step, your aggregate limit. You get 15 birds per day. Excluding the special white wing zone, in those 15, you can shoot white wings, morning dove, and two white-tipped dove. Now, a lot of people couldn't tell you the difference between a white-tipped dove and a woodpecker. If that's the case, I would say stay away from anything that's not a morning dove or a white wing dove. Now, if they're pigeons or collared doves, Eurasians, you can shoot as many of those as you want and you can add them to your limit and they don't count towards your limit. So pigeons, collared dove, shoot them all day long. In your actual limit, white wings, morning dove, and two white tipped only. If you don't know what a white tipped dove is or looks like, stay away from it. Also, Stay away from Inca Dove, stay away from Bull Bats, and stay away from Kildee. They're going to be flying all over the place out there, not the ones to shoot at. You will get a ticket for each one, and the fine per bird does get pretty high. Possession limit. This is a big one. This is the last one I'll do, and it gets a lot of people every year. When it says that you can have three daily limits in your possession that would be 45 birds that's correct with the exception of the first couple days of season i see people get tickets for this every year they go out the first saturday and sunday that seasons open up or the first two days that the season opens up let's say and they come driving back with 45 birds and then they get a ticket for being over the limit and they wonder why because the possession limit says I can have up to three times the daily limit. That does not apply if there hasn't been three days in the season yet. So if you hunt the first two days, you drive back with three days worth of birds, you're going to be over the limit by 15 birds. So just pay attention to that because if it's the first couple days of season, the rule of possession limit does not apply. You cannot have more than the amount of days that the season has been opened. Anyways, I hope you guys and gals have a great year hunting doves. It's supposed to be a fantastic year. Everything that the Parks and Wildlife has released has said that somewhere around between 40 and 50% the bird numbers are up this year, which would be fantastic because the past two years have been pretty crappy depending on where you're hunting at. But if you got a chance this year in this drought, I would suggest hunting over water somewhere. The little ponds, the little you know small watering holes, cattle troughs, those are going to be absolutely on fire at the beginning of the year especially if we don't get any rain. Knock on wood, I'm not going to say we don't want any rain because we'd love some rain. However, usually opening day, some hurricane forms up somewhere and we all get rained on and it really makes the hunting suck. But 
If it doesn't, and you get into open today without any rain, find some water, and you're going to have a blast. See you guys on the next one. Peace.